Hi. How are you? Today is January the 1st of 2024. And I'd like to say things are going to change, you know, good things to come. And they will, but the one thing that will never change will be these geese starting out my video talking. Always. That ain't changing. <sighs> this past month, December, has been wild for me. Um, as of yesterday, we finished all of our Christmases with all of our families. And I've come to realize, once you work on a farm and you do this all day, the holiday season is stressful. <laughs> um, because it's like you're gone for large parts of the days to spend time with family, which is great, don't get me wrong. But it has been difficult, to say the least. It is hard leaving animals for longer than two hours, believe it or not, but I am extremely blessed. We had an amazing holiday season despite getting sick and all of those things. Clearly, we are all alive. We made it through, <laughs> alive and well. We made it through New Year's Eve with all the fireworks, lots of gunshots. It was totally different than the 4th of July. It was very scary, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Ziggy's okay. I posted on Facebook an update about how they were doing and honestly, Ziggy was doing the worst. Um, it was really hard on him and he's clearly still upset, I don't know. If somebody else fed him today, so maybe he's not hungry, but he doesn't seem like he wants to eat right now, um, which is strange. Sometimes he lays down and I have to get him up. Let's get him up. Come on, Ziggy. Zig, let's stand up. Come on, stand up. Oh, oh my gosh, Ziggy, uh, Ziggy, Zig, Zig, hey, my bird, come on, get up. Oh my gosh, oh, he won't get up. Ziggy, Ziggy, come on. Oh my goodness, okay. I guess we're being a lazy bird today? <sighs> Come on, dude. Do you not want to eat? I'll put some in front of you. Will you eat that? Maybe somebody already fed him today and didn't tell me. That's okay, that happens sometimes. Um, I'll circle back and check on him in a minute. But yeah, we have officially closed out the wildest year of my life for sure. Um, a complete career change, abandoning what I thought was my dream, coming here, rekindling a new dream that I never thought would actually pan out, which is getting to save animals, work with animals. I have found a new sense of community in my YouTube and Facebook channels. I've met amazing people, amazing opportunities. And I'm happy. If you had asked me this time last year on January 1st of 2023, I couldn't have told you that I was as happy as I am right now. You know, it was, we hadn't decided yet. I think we decided in February, we made everything official with coming over to the sanctuary. And on the 1st of January, I still was not in a good place. You know, there was just... A lot going on and teaching ruined me it did and it took a year of healing the animals helped a lot with that y'all helped a lot with that my amazing fiance helped with that um, but it took a lot to get here I'm not gonna lie and I'm proud of where I am right now but yeah lots of crazy things um, I learned a lot about grief um, with farm life Losing animals is really, really hard. I learned that you have to be strong because even if somebody passes away, I learned this with Honeydew, if you remember who Honeydew was, that the world doesn't stop. These animals out here, they don't stop. They need fed, they need cared for. So just because you're grieving does not mean that you pause. Um, I learned a lot about how to care for a lot of different animals. I've always been very well versed with goats, 
but I fell in love with chickens this year and I am so extremely happy. That bird's eaten now. Let's go see if he wants to eat from me. I fell in love with birds. Never thought that would happen. It started when we moved here and um, I started training Jamie's hens to no longer roost on the tractor. I trained them to roost in a stall. Fell in love with them there and that was wonderful. And it led me to getting my own chickens and now my own emu. We have Ziggy. We had births. We've had monumentous moments that I'm never going to forget. That's one right there, Mr. Oki. We've got Corny being nice. We've got a blessing in, oh goodness, oh my goodness. We've got a blessing in the fainting goats. Um, goats that I have fallen in love with. Horse, beautiful horses, Ziggy, chickens, life and death here on the farm. And even though death is hard, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, y'all. I've learned a lot about the circle of life and that when it's an animal's time or a person's time, it's their time. Um, I haven't talked a lot about chicken deaths I've had, but you know, chickens are very fragile and I've held quite a few chickens and I've had crazy moments with them where I could tell they were in just so much pain and they were just hanging on and I would just sit there and I'd hold them and I'd tell them, it's okay, you, you go, you know? You, you go join the chicken pasture up with the Lord and and after that they ended up passing very peacefully and that that was wild that's something that I never would have thought like I could calm an animal in their last moments I've learned a lot about boundaries with animals with having rescues they don't always want to be loved on and that's okay what's important for us though is to give them the best life possible so I'm rambling but I've learned a lot I've learned a lot about myself and taking better care of myself. And we're starting off 2024 with a bang, y'all. Day one, January 1st of 2024, I'm a survivor, has a new rescue. I don't know if we call it a rescue. I don't know what Ellie's calling it, but I'm not gonna show you anything. You're gonna have to go to his channel and watch because it's an amazing story, and I cannot wait to share this new friend with you. Um, it was very hard for me to do today. Very hard for us to pick this friend up because it wasn't a neglect situation. It was actually just somebody trying to do what's in the best interest of the animal. And that's hard when it comes from a loving family who loves an animal but knows they need to rehome that animal even though they can take care of them, but it might not be the best place for them. And that's hard. So that was, oh good, Ziggy's up. So that was really difficult, but very happy that we were able to give this new friend a home. You're not gonna see this friend in the video. You're gonna have to go watch Ellie's video, but I'm a survivor starting off 2020, 20, 2020, 2020, 2024, 2024, strong. Somebody already fed you, huh? Yeah, I'll have to come feed you later. But yeah, y'all, I, I am incredibly blessed for what this past year has brought. And I know I probably should have uploaded this video yesterday, but we have officially closed 2023 and we are hitting the ground running for 2024. I'm excited for everything that's to come. I'm excited to grow as a content creator and show y'all the love I have for animals. Um, my goals for this year are to reach as many people possible. And I know some people are going to be like, yeah, it's because she wants to make money or whatever. But it's not. Really, I want to reach as many people possible so they get to see these little blessings. They get to see the little blessings like this. I want as many people possible to get to experience this because these animals are a joy. They really are. Huh, Newton? You're a joy. 
But y'all, I have to go take care of our new friend with Ellie, regroup, talk about things, get things planned video-wise, so we can get you to meet this new friend. I love and appreciate y'all so much. And I can't wait to see what 2024 has in store for us. I love that all of the fainting goats are all the way over there, so you didn't get to see them this video, but they're here, don't worry. And there's Oki. On that note, bye friends.